real quick. I really came out here because I feel at home, right? Yeah. But most importantly, what really pushed me to bring y'all out here and promote is this little girl who I don't know. I don't know her. I just know there's something wrong in my people. And sometimes I don't wait for organizations to take, you know, charge. I don't wait for people in Congress to come through. We got people coming up now, but I can't call those people. They don't pick up the phone. So I count on my people, and we show up, and we do it. Because, you know, we don't fucking do it. Because no one gave me a hand. Anywhere you see me at, no one handed me anything. I proved myself to them. Okay, when I work with these people, when you see me on the set, it's not because they did me a fucking favor. Okay, I went in there and I told them, I'm going to shut it down. You hire me or you don't. Okay? So real quick, whoever paid $15 for the book, it wasn't 15 it was 10 So go back and get your $5 that I owe you, because I'm, I'm, I'm an honest cat. If not, buy two books, put another 5 to get 20 Half of that money is going to manufacture book. The other half is going to this little girl. Again, I don't know her. I know there's trouble, so I'm going there. The, the bottle of Absolute Brooklyn that I got coming out with Spike Lee next month, I wrote a poem on that bottle. It's being raffled. Put your money in. It's going to go to a little girl. I'm not even going to tell this from us. She's just going to end up with a check somehow, okay? Because that's how we the fuck do it, right? You know me? You know me? I'm a motherfucking feminist man. Fuck out of here. What's up, Belky? What's up? I was a student of mine, Belky. I'm a very good Okay, here I'm gonna do one more gangster poem, and then I'm gonna get into the to the, to the, the poems I love to do, which is about my lady friends. Maybe we should do that. Let's go there first. Y'all wanna hear love poems? Shit, love poems don't pay the fucking rent. <laughs> you gotta feel stronger than that, baby. But then, you know, maybe it's just me playing this role like my heart is cold. I figure if you don't know, then you're never gonna know that, shit. Yeah, I did love somebody one time. But I took this little girl from a shorty and turned her into a fly-ass diamond when I thought she was mine, all mine. Nobody else but mine. It wasn't even like that, Jack. Sometimes when I think back, I feel a little guilty because, you know, I stepped to her when she was nothing but a simulac. I had to see where her head was at, and that's when I knew she was going to grow up to be all that. Matter of fact, to this day, no girl out there got more props than her. Nah, because you see, my little love had a way of looking up to me like I was her big brother. Taking care of me and feeding me like she was my mother, and everything we ever did in this world seemed to be original. Because we was each other's first lovers. So there ain't no other girl out there got more props than her. Plus, I don't even see myself going through that again, my friends. I guess that's why I have a hard time writing love poems. Because I love love. I just like to leave love where it's at. Pure. Just like that. No added preservatives. No trying to run it through a test. Just leave it alone and let it manifest. Because it's bad enough the truth already suffers from too much analysis and ain't nothing more truer than love. Ain't nothing more painful either. I ain't joking. I'd rather catch an ass whooping than get my heart broken. Because you see, an ass whooping will come quick. Depending on how many people giving it to your car. <laughs> but a broken heart, a broken heart will work its way up into you nice and slow. And before you know it, you're on your living room floor talking about, Funny <laughs> how memories of my little love have me in the zone. So I went home and I wrote this love poem. Check it out. I hate the world when you're mad at me. Crazy without you cause you help me deal with my sanity You are my cold pilot, my gas mask got a ride I love your bad so much cause to me they're not your flaws Cause I know me without you is like a dick without a neck just head and balls <laughs> Me without you is like cereal without milk A spider without silk, a leaning towel without the tilt Me without you is like Lakers without Shaq The Jill without Jack and ass without a crack <laughs> Me without you is like Tony Montana without his sister, Manolo without his sister. When it comes to loving you, I'm finna drop Alaska Wizard, cause I just can't be without. You hold me down to the death, 
With you I feel good, without you I get all types of pains up in my chest Cause without you it's not true love, but with you it always feels like new love the kisses are still the same. We still cuddle, we still hug. I love all my people, black, Spanish, even Jews and Arabs too, but fuck them in the world if there's a me without you. Please, please buy this book. You will fucking enjoy it. Anyone who see County of Kings? This book right here is the play. The play. County of Kings, you gotta see that this shit is a story about me and my mom growing up. I'm gonna read a poem, I'm gonna read a poem out of it called Similarly Like. Uh, my boy Rob Plano told me this prompt this might be good tonight, right? So check it out, I had this girl, right? My ex-girlfriend, who I call Lily, and this is this is her. You're gonna meet her right now. Like, 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 you know, like I've been through a lot. Like I see these little girls running around acting like grown women, dressing like grown men. My mother would have like beat my ass like mommy do. She just called me acting like that. Like the time with my first love, this boy from the call, y'all, like nobody wanted to like let their daughters have anything to do with like boys, like let alone like those that came out of that building because it was like the neighborhood of New Jack City. But there was this one boy, like forget about it anyway. Hey, like my 14th birthday, my mother got me up here these construction tins I like, and my father got me like a see-through beaver, so you know hip-hop, like you could look ugly, but clothes make you look like that shit. Margaritas, which is like the corner where they all like my cousin sent me to show up, act like I was buying sunflower seeds and a Chico stick. And like we went into the two, three, four boys from the Coyo, so like my cousin sent me sister oh was already like going up a ray, rest in peace, who was hugging the corner like a drug dealer with his homeboy they called Lemonhead. And he looked like a thugged out camel suit kid. So like make sure you know like this little walk. White boy Puerto Rock runs up in me like a chain snatcher and pulls my beeper for my mud jeans, which always makes my ass look like a Dominican before she has kids anyway. <laughs> Anyway, he didn't want to give me back my beep on, so I gave him the disc, like my number's so naive, instead of giving him my number, I gave him my virginity. I mean, he like had to hold on to my head to like get it in, but we'll get to that later. My mother didn't like his reputation, she thought I would like catch AIDS from just kissing him, because like his mother had it, so I like had to break up with him, but then he became my boyfriend again, but like only over the phone for like a year. And he would tell me how he had to like live with his uncle, because there was no wealth for him to go, and like his mother didn't want him to do that. Like his uncle would take his father and mother's death money and spend it like coke all the time. So he had to get like a real job at this place called Goldman Sachs, being a messenger down on Wall Street. Andy, whose gang started going wild, like stretch marks on the baby mama panty line, and he was going crazy too with them. So one time I was like bored, and I wanted to feel like a gangster's girlfriend, so I told him this boy Blue Chip, who had a front tooth like a lapis lazuli in school, grabbed my ass like a man handle, and he didn't do anything. I got so mad at him, just like, no girl wants to be with the poser. Until the day he called Blue Chip. With his girlfriend holding hands, and they were wearing each other's sneakers, like who the fuck does that anyway? Like, and he just stepped to him and knocked him out. I heard he like hit blue chip so hard he was laid on the floor still holding his girlfriend's hand. And he just stepped to me and said, listen, don't worry about when I do things. As long as I do them right. And I was like, that's my man! He had this natural smell like he smelled like Lutheran Hospital. We became really serious when I started going to his high school at John Jay, which was like a jungle. And we would cut on our afternoon classes and sneak into his uncle's house. By now, all my friends have had sex, and I was like the last one, so we would like experiment, you know, like dry humping, sharing each other's gun while making out. Andy, he already had sex with some trick bitch, slut, I don't know her name, fuck it anyway, he was my man. <laughs> After all the pushing and pulling, I took off my little brother's plate, red, black lumberjack off, and he pulled off his Philly Blunt's white tee, and there we were, ass naked. He had a chest that looked like E.T.'s. <laughs> I like cried after showing him my titties because I had like a cripple nipple. But then I was gassed to see how much he like looking at my body. And before you know, like we finally did it. His hands were so like a dishwasher. I don't think he ever took some girl's virginity before. And since I never lost mine, we really didn't know what we were doing. He put both of his hands on top of my head like he was climbing a rope. I gripped onto his butt cheeks that had a birthmark that looked like the island of Cuba. And like it took him a whole video of TLC to finally get it in. But when it went in, it felt like a sweet burn. And then he started reggae dancing at me. To make it look like he has skills. <laughs> and I went along with it like I knew what I was doing too. <laughs> Everything smelled beautiful and innocent like puppy water. We left that crib like a honeymoon stay at the Liberty Inn Standard to the next day like when my mother did the drive by on him. 